Yo, yo, what's going on? Y'all, it's your boy Devon Terrell in raw form, and welcome to another Help Me Devon Raw tutorial. And today, in this Help Me Devon Raw tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to get compression settings faster. Basically, how to make you more efficient and how to make you uh, basically get to those decisions when it comes to your compression settings. Let's get right to it. Okay, so long story short, I'm going to show you in two different forms. I'm going to show you in the form of compression settings for setting for vocals, and then I'm going to show you for kicks to kind of help you understand how to do it for instruments as well. I'm going to show you one method that's going to give you an idea and a way to get the compression settings faster and kind of a way to always maybe start to try to find that right compression setting for your vocals or instruments. Okay. So I'm gonna play you a vocal uh, within a song. There is no compression on his vocal at all. It is literally just some EQ, a little bit of DSing, and that's it. But there's no compression on his vocal. Listen to this vocal very closely. Same shit, new day. Rolling up the gas, so you know I can't complain. I'm flying first class, like I'll get up on my way. I got your nigga hate, cause he know I'm getting paid. It's the way you can see it in my Okay, so that's a vocal. It doesn't have any compression on it. It's literally uh, very dynamic in the sense of there's some quiet parts, there's some loud parts. We need to get some consistency on this entire vocal. How do we go about doing the compression and setting the attacks and release and all of these things? I'm gonna show you this. But I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you guys to comment, like, subscribe. Also, make sure you visit helpmedevon.info at any time during this video to get some of our presets, templates, and other goodies just for you in the description. Now back to the tutorial. Okay, so you heard the vocal. We're gonna come on over to this side and what we're gonna do is, and let me just make sure I'm in the right place, let's highlight this, is let's add a compressor. And the compressor I'm gonna stick to in this tutorial is the R comp from Waves. And the reason why I'm gonna stick to this is because this is a very common compressor and I also like it because it has its attack release ratio. A lot of the things that you see on uh, a lot of the compressors you have. Now there are different types of compressors from FET to but we won't get that deep into this. Just know that a lot of your compressors, I know a lot of you use compressors that say attack, release settings, and thresholds and ratios so that you can set all of these things. Okay, so first thing first, when it comes to vocals, I'm very light uh, when it comes to my ratios. I don't like really hard ratios for my vocals to each his own. Just know that what ratio does is, it's basically saying, hey, for every two dB of, of compression or two dB over the threshold, I want you to only allow one through. So that's when you see the 10 to one ratio, 30 to one ratio. It's saying, hey, for every 30 dB over the threshold, only allow one through. So just know, when it comes to this compression that I'm setting for the vocal, I'm saying, hey, I want a two to one ratio. I mean, if for every two dB over the threshold, I want you to only allow one through. So I'm using a lighter ratio for my vocals. I don't want so much of it, just something that kind of gets it more controlled and things of that nature. Okay. So what I'm gonna show you is something I like to call the extreme method. A lot of engineers do this. Uh, they can call it whatever they want, but I like to call it the extreme method. What do I mean by this? I am going to do an exaggeration, an extreme exaggeration for my attack and release. I'm gonna set my attack to the fastest setting I possibly can, and I'm gonna set my release to the slowest uh, setting that I possibly can. And what this is gonna do is, it's literally gonna put the attack to the fastest and the release to the slowest. Now I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. I'm literally gonna take the attack and release and I'm gonna back them off until it feels uh, like it's in a space where I actually like. And then I'm gonna take the gain and give myself back the volume that I've lost from this compression. I'm gonna compress the vocal until I get about six dB of gain reduction, which is not something you're married to, but it's just something that I'm just gonna do for a rule of thumb. I'm just gonna go about six dB of gain reduction, and then I'm gonna back off the attack and release until it feels like a sweet spot. Then I'm gonna boost up the volume and gain to compensate for what I've lost for the compression. So that's what I'm gonna do. Watch me do this right now. Let's go over here, let's put this here, and let's do it. Same shit, new day. Rolling up the gas, so you know I can't complain. I'm flying first class, I don't get up on my way. I got your nigga hate, cause you know I'm getting paid. It's the way if you can see it in my ass, I'm dead, I'm smoking something dope. Busy hit me for the re-up, yeah, we Gucci, I reloaded. Niggas say they got the gas, but they never really show it. Yeah, I'm pulling on this fuck, and all these bitches wanna do it. I'm gas. Same shit, new day. Yeah, I'm smoking something. 
if you listen to this closely, what I did was I got about 60 B of gain reduction, uh, straight up off rip. And what I did was I put the attack to the fastest setting. I put the release to the slowest setting. Then what I did was I backed off on both of them, taking the attack from the slowest to a faster one, excuse me, from a faster to a slower one. Uh, basically opening up those transients. So when I took the attack from its fastest setting and made it slower, I was opening up those transients. And when I took the release from its slowest setting to its faster setting, I was also allowing that vocal to cut through a lot more and you felt it get more open. And I did this until it felt right within the music and after that, what I did was I started to boost the game. So if you incorporate all of those things, that's a easy, quick way that you can basically get your compression settings. Take it to, to an extreme, exaggerate your settings all the way left, all the way right, until you actually find a sweet spot and then you feel better about it and that's a good way. Because to be honest, a lot of you may be just starting out. And if you're just starting out, maybe you're still trying to train your ears to notice certain nuances. A more seasoned ear may a more seasoned ear may just default to certain places and know I want a faster a faster attack and then back off from their spots. But someone that's basically just getting started, you're gonna hear big differences. So why don't you start with the big difference and then work your way until you feel more comfortable with the spot? So just to show you a few more characteristics about that, and then I'll move on to an instrument right quick. So what I had was I had it to its fastest attack and its slowest release, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solo this again. Actually, I'm going to solo this this time. And this time, I want you to pay attention to the release. The release is at its slowest setting right now. Slowest, meaning it's going to hold the compression uh, for as long as it can. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take it from its slowest setting to more of its faster. And I want you to notice and analyze the characteristics and what it does when you do this. Watch this. Say shit, new day. Rolling up the gas. Wait, before we do that, let me just put this back to zero as far as the game. Let's do it again. Say shit, new day. Rolling up the gas so you know I can't complain. I'm flying first class like I'll get up on my way. I got your nigga hating because he know I'm getting paid. It's the wave. You can see it in my eyes. Oh, dead. I'm smoking something potent. Weezy hit me for the re-up. Yeah, we good. So you'll notice that the vocal tends to sound a lot more open when I put it to its faster uh, setting. And you notice that on the right side, when I make it slower, it feels smoother. Notice this again. When I move it to its right, the vocal feels smoother. Say shit, new day. Rolling up the gas so you know I can't complain. I'm flying first class like I'll get up on my way. And then when I push it more to the left, which is his faster setting, you'll notice that it feels like those transients and it feels like it's bouncing uh, in and uh, in, in, in out and it feels like it's a lot more movement with it, letting those consonants and, 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 and transients kind of kind of shine through. This is a characteristic you can keep in your mind now saying, okay, when it comes to my release, if I want it to feel a little bit more open, maybe I should go to the to a, a, a faster setting to release that release faster. So that's basically what I do. And I always, if you're using this method, I always start with the release first because I'll, I'll notice a lot more with the release first and then the attack gets easier because that's the transients, the top part that cut through. So I'll do the release first, from, a, from an extreme to a nice place, and then the attack from an extreme place to a nice place, and that's it. So we were finding our nice place or place that we kind of like around right here, which is a faster release. Let's try the attack now. I want you to analyze the characteristics of the attack this time. Say shit, new day. Rolling up the gas so you know I can't complain. I'm flying first class like I'll get up on my way. I got your nigga hating cause he know I'm getting paid. It's the wave, you can see it in my eyes. Oh, dead, I'm smoking something potent. Weezy hit me for the re-up. Yeah, we Gucci, I'm reloaded. Niggas say they got the gas, but they never really show it. So you'll notice when I took the attack and put it to its fastest setting, which is what it, what it started off of, you'll notice that it felt really tight sounding. It felt like the transients were being attacked very fast. That's exactly what's happening. But when I took it from its fastest setting to more of a slower setting going towards that medium, you notice that the vocals and the consonants started to come out more. Those transients started to feel like they belong and they started to cut through a lot more. And this is what we found by doing this. I implore anyone to practice doing this, basically to train your ears, take your attack and release settings, go to the extremes and exaggerate them, and then back off until you feel like, oh, I like how it's kind of cutting through and things of that nature. And that's a great 
rule of thumb or basically method that you can start to try to kind of get that idea of what's happening. Now, when it comes to this compressor, sometimes you can put it into the manual or arc mode. Uh, that's another day, I'll show you that. But for the most part, just know that taking your attack and release, putting them to their stream settings can really help a lot. Okay, now the other thing I wanna show you guys is the kick or basically kind of how to go about how kind of how to go about this when it comes to instruments and things of that nature. I'm going to show you the same exact method but just a little different. Now, this is the same compressor that I'm going to use or that I used uh for the other one. Uh we're going to do the same exact thing for the kick. So let's take a listen to our kick. Listen close. Okay, so that's our kick. Now, a cool way that we can basically get an idea or uh, basically, uh, how can I say, uh, uh, get the compression settings much faster is, we could take this one right here, let's pick this kick right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press play and I'm gonna loop this constantly. Check this out. Okay, so I got it to loop constantly, constantly knocking, knock, 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 knock. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this to my advantage and basically set my attack and release settings to feel like it's kind of uh, uh, exploding in a sense where the kick is like boom, boom, boom. Kind of that effect that we go for when the kick kind of just feels right and it kind of opens and closes at the right time. We're gonna loop this kick to basically get an idea of it. Check out how I do this. So obviously we're gonna put this to the fastest setting. Uh, the attack is gonna to be to the fastest setting. The release is gonna to be to the slowest setting. And then we're just gonna basically see how this works. We're gonna turn this into electro just for me. I'll tell you about that a little bit about that later. And let's see what happens. I'm gonna show you the same thing. I have the ratio set to four to one instead of two to one. Cause when it comes to my kicks, I do want a little bit harder of a compression. So let's see what this is. Okay, so you notice that this kick is a lot tougher. It's a lot meaner. It's hitting a lot harder. And it also feels like it's kind of boom, boom, kind of bouncing in the right areas. Now, to each his own, use your own ears as far as the context of the song and stuff like that. But look at what I did. Long story short, what I did was I took the attack and found a sweet spot around that middle. Now, me putting the attack and finding that sweet spot in the middle is basically saying, hey, I want a little bit more of those transients to come out before the compression starts. And when it came to release, I wound up finding that a faster release for that kick just felt better. It felt like it let go of the compression at a good spot where it just kind of moved and grooved. And we can do this in context with the music to really figure out if it feels better. So let's play this in context with the music. So listen close, I'm gonna bypass this back and forth. Same shit, new day. Rolling up the gas, so you know I can't complain. I'm flying first class, I go get up on my way. I got your nigga hate, cause he know I'm getting paid. It's the way you can see it in my eyes, so jet, I'm smoking something. Busy hit me for the re up, yeah, we Gucci, I be loaded. Nigga say they got the gas. The kick feels like it has more life. It's kicking and it's it's moving in a certain way and that's what we did with just this exaggeration method of basically going to the extremes looping the kick so that we can hear it constantly pulsating and find the right spot where it should be pulsating or where it felt best within the entire mix so you can use this method with exaggerating the attacks and release uh, with instruments. You can do this with a lot of things. Pick how much compression you're looking for. Let's say, for instance, with an instrument, you're like, I just want about 3 dB of compression. Pick the 3 dB spot. Once you're there with the compression and the attacks are as fast as it can go and the release is as slow as it can be, then start to 
bring it down until it feels better. And this is a good beginner technique as far as, hey, I'm trying to find the right compression um, in uh, attack uh, in release settings for my compression. It's a really easy method to use. Um, and it's just something simple to kind of get your ears trained until you know in your heart every time you approach that mix, oh, this, I know what the attack and releases should be. This is a quick way to you to dive into these settings without being so intimidated. So that was my tutorial on how to get your compression settings a lot faster. I hope this was helpful. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Also make sure you visit helpmedevon.info at any time to get some of our presets, vocal chains that we use, for instance, like this one in here, um, presets, uh, studio rack presets, a bunch of goodies that you guys will just love. Make sure you also follow us at Help me Devon on the Instagram and join our Discord community with a bunch of aspiring engineers just like yourself. So that was my tutorial on basically how to get faster compression settings. I hope this was helpful and until next time. <laughs>